Today I'm doing somewhat of a health video that I wanted to share with you all. So I um, kind of tracked my meals this week to show you guys what I eat in a day. And I'm using the app MyFitnessPal. It's the little blue man with the Under Armour sign. And I started off um, with this app and I didn't want to get too crazy about it. And become addicted to tracking, that sort of thing. So I tracked my macros, which is your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your fat, if you don't know what that is. And for me, I'm just kind of wanting to man maintain like my weight and sort of gain muscle. So I'm wanting to take in a lot of protein and more ca carbohydrates than I am fat. So that is kind of what I'm doing here. What works for me may not work for you. Um, everyone's different. So, when you're watching this, I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know everyone's body type or anything like that. So, this is just my opinion and what works for me best. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, but, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And, just keep watching. Hello, guys. So, my first meal of the day is going to be my breakfast. And I'm starting out with a protein pancake from the brand Krusty's. I only use about a half a cup of mix um, just because that's big enough for me and considering I want to eat more stuff. And then I have both of these little sausage pat turkey sausage patties and they're from Jimmy Dean. And then I have some log cabin sugar free syrup that I'll use for my pancake. And then I'll use um, a Chobani yogurt to top off the rest of my breakfast so this is pretty healthy pretty simple I usually eat it before I go to the gym um, so I'll show you guys what I eat for lunch and after the gym and all that here in a little bit later so there's that and I track some of my stuff um, on an app and that gives me how much protein I'm consuming carbohydrates and um, fats so that's pretty cool you can track this in it's all really really good so my first meal was my breakfast and for my breakfast I had two protein or one protein pan pancake. It was from the brand Krusty's. Um, I used to like Kodiak cakes but I kind of branched out from them because I got sick of the taste so I started using Krusty's and that tastes just like a regular pancake. I used a half a cup of mix and that usually fills me up if I'm going to eat a little something else with it. And so then I had um, two turkey sausage patties, Jimmy Dean, and those are amazing. They taste just like regular sausage. You can get those at Kroger. Um, you can get them at Sam's in the big, big packs, and you can save a lot of money by getting them that way if you really do like them. And then I had a cup of yogurt, and it was the Chobani yogurts. I got those in a huge pack at Sam's, too, like little individuals that came with, like, raspberry, strawberry, peach, and I think blueberry. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. And that total meal totaled up to be 470 calories, so that was not that bad of a meal. It was really filling. It helped me when I went to the gym. I tried to eat a lot of carbs because I decided to run before I started lifting my weights and stuff. So, yeah. That was the first meal, pretty light, pretty healthy, and pretty good. Overall, it's usually my favorite meal of the day, so I hope that was pretty helpful for you guys. So, on to lunch. Okay, so I just got back from the gym, and my meal right now is going to be a smoothie. I've got two scoops of the vanilla protein, two-thirds cups of frozen berries, a handful of these power greens, a banana and almond milk, a cup of almond milk. And I'm cooking some chicken right now. So that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. I'll show you my chicken. I just cut up a chicken breast from sand. So that's what I'm having for lunch. For my lunch, I had went to the gym. So I usually like to get some sort of a protein shake in after the gym. So my protein shake had um, a cup of the original almond milk, which is really good I had a really hard time in the beginning cutting out dairy um, or like I cut out dairy for a while and then I went back to it I had a really hard time just using regular milk I love regular milk so almond milk was something to adjust to but I, but I really like it now so I used a cup of the silk almond milk original 
and then I added um, 85 grams of the power greens they give you so much energy they're really filling they help your skin your hair all of that sort of thing and then I used two scoops of the Kroger protein powder and that's whey and soy protein you can also use muscle milk or any kind of protein powder you can find at GNC or anything like that and then I used the members mark frozen yogurt or frozen yogurt frozen berries and I got that at Sam's as well and it's a huge huge bag and I used um, 140 grams of fruit and then my boneless chicken breast was four ounces and that was really filling I got that from Sam's as well and like a big pack and then with my smoothie I also put in a banana I just now saw that on my little app but I added a banana too sometimes I'll put a banana in sometimes I won't just kind of depends um, fun fact about bananas sometimes they're not necessarily good for you they make you crave more foods like chocolates banana uh, bananas make you crave sugar so if you're looking to substitute some sort of a fruit you could try an apple instead or berries are really good for you they're really good for your hair your skin um, so that's an option as well if you all like that and that total meal totaled up to be 480 calories it was really filling I didn't get hungry for a while um, so yeah that was that was really filling and that was good okay so for my last meal of the day my dinner I'm using Taylor Farms garden vegetable chopped salad these are little kits you can buy at Sands they have dressings included in them and a bunch of veggies and basically you just combine it all in a bowl and I'll have around two cups of this so you can see like the ingredients I mean it's not like like super power green salad but it is really good for you so that is just something I'm gonna have for dinner and then usually I have enough to eat two cups the next day for like um, lunch or something like that so that's gonna be my dinner and that's gonna be the end of my day okay it's around four o'clock and I'm having a snack for my snack, I'm gonna be eating an apple. Kate's over there. Kate's had a banana. She's uh, just hanging out. She's about, about to go to yoga. And last but not least, I had the Taylor Farms vegetable chop salad, and I had two cups of that. That was 320 calories. Salads are really good for you. I'm not a big salad person. I usually only eat them probably twice a week, if that. Um, not a big fan. But yeah, you guys can do. The Taylor Farm salads, you can get them in a bunch of different um, salad dressings and different ingredients within those. So that's always a really good option. And then I had an apple as a snack just to hold me over because I was getting a little bit hungry. So yeah, that was the entire day of what I ate. And I ate a total of uh, 1,350 calories. That's pretty light for me. In one day, I usually eat way more than that. So that was just a typical what I decided to eat so yeah I hope this was helpful I hope you guys learned something from it maybe you like this if you didn't like it I'm sorry um, but if you did like it give it a thumbs up and let me know what else you want to see I'm not a big health expert but I do like health and fitness and talking about that sort of thing so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week